Welcome to Swordbox Ministries, and today's video Mickey begins his series, on the family. Starting at the beginning with marriage. Our verse for the day is found in Psalm 127, 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Welcome back to Swordbox. Today I want to begin a series on the family. In the coming days and weeks, I want us to look at marriage, I want us to look at divorce, uh, the kids of marriage and divorce, singles and being single again. You know, nowhere has the enemy struck harder and with more success than at our families. And so to begin, I think we need a clear understanding of how it all got started, who created and designed the family, and how we keep them together and keep them strong. But I want to assure you that no matter what circumstance you find yourself in today, whether you're in a bad marriage, whether you're widowed, or whether you're single again, Jesus Christ loves you right where you are, and he meets us right where we are. We need to accept that important truth as we begin this series, because we'll probably hit on some emotional buttons for some people who've been through maybe some hard relationships, uh, maybe he's made some big mistakes, or just flat out sinned, and uh, perhaps even some people that have been in some abuse. And the way to get through these is not to bury these experiences, to excuse or minimize our pain or sin, but rather to deal with them in light of God's truth as revealed to us in Scripture. Uh, today I want to begin where God began, and that's with the institution of marriage. Back in the book of Genesis, we have God's account of his creation of the heavens and the earth. He formed man from the dust of the earth, and he made man in his own image. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone, I will make a helper comparable to him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept. And he took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which God, the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. In verse 24 it says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. So now not only was mankind created by God, the very institution of marriage and the family were his design. Marriage was designed for one woman and one man to be joined together for life. In chapter 4 verse 1, Eve conceives and have a child. Now we have the first family, mother, father, and child. Marriage is a covenant between man and wife and a covenant between God. He joins the two together. We've talked about it before here on Swordbox. It's a physical, emotional, and a spiritual connection intended to last for life. So let me give you some quick verses that speak about marriage throughout the Bible. Hebrews 13, 4 says, Marriage is honorable among all. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10 says, Two are better than one, for if they fall, one will lift up his companion. Proverbs 18, 22 says, He that finds a wife obtain, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And Proverbs 19, 14 says, Houses and riches are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent life is from the Lord. And what about children? Well, Psalm 127, 3 and 5 says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. Scripture is clear. Marriage is good. It's created and designed by God. And being married is a blessing, as well as having children. And since God created man and woman, since he created marriage and families, then he knows how they should work. And he knows how to keep them together, as well as the boundaries that we all need to have for those. As we begin this series on family, I'm aware that there's endless books on this subject, many of which can be very helpful. And I'm in no way claiming to be an expert to know everything about marriage or families. But what I do desire is that we look together at God's word for his insight, his instruction, and his guidance. You know, the Bible is the revealed word of God, and it has much to say about marriage and family if we'll just take the time to listen. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 and following, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rains descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. You see, in both cases, the winds blew and the rain fell. But if you build your house, your marriage, on the solid rock of the foundation of the Word of God, when the rains come and the winds blow, 
you're not going to be moved. You're not going to crumble because you're standing in Christ. The Bible says in Psalm 127, 1, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. I hope you'll join us each day for the next couple weeks to talk specifically about marriage, and then we'll move on to divorce and other aspects of family or being broken families. But even if you're single, I think this is really good information for you to listen to and to learn, and it'll help give you insight for when you do become married again, if that's the case. But God bless you. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you back here on Swordbox.